Welcome to the next video in our Add Camera series. In this video, we're going to deal specifically with DS Admin. Unlike DS Quick Setup, DS Admin is manual entry, meaning it will not detect the cameras, settings, or IP address. This must all be entered manually. In order to access DS Admin, we want to go to Start, Programs, and then Pelco. We'll find it there. Once we click on that, we'll need to type in the username and password for the system. By default, that username is admin with the password admin. Once in DS Admin, click the plus next to the computer name. From there, click the plus next to VAU. Once there, click on the actual name of the DSSRV system under VAU. Once here, we click on the IP cameras tab. On this screen, we can see our current license count, our cameras, their IP address, if they're active or not, along with other information. Now, what's important to note with DS Admin is that, again, this does not automatically detect this information. To add a camera in DS Admin, we must have the IP address, we must know the resolution and settings the camera support, and we also must know the username and password for the system. This information is not automatically pulled in. Now with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like to add a camera to show in our IP camera list. Now that we're ready to add an IP camera, we click the Add IP Camera button. The first thing we'll be presented with is the Manufacturer Selection List. Now there's just a few items here that I want to clear up. First is Onviv. Starting with Digital Century version 7.5.209, we support OnViv Profile S. If we're going to add an OnViv Profile S compatible camera and we do not see the manufacturer in this list, that's the option that we want to select. The next is PelcoNet. PelcoNet is something specific to our older, non-supported box-to-box -box encoders. This is not the option for the Net 5500, 5400, or 5300 series of encoders. The last one I want to discuss is Pelco Optera. For the two cameras that we have that are panoramic, which is the Evolution and Optera cameras, those must be added through the DS Quick Setup utility and should not be added through DS Admin. Okay, so with the list explained, let's click on Pelco and add a camera. This is the information that was required to be able to add a camera to the system. We're going to just take a quick look at this so we can get an idea, and then we're going to take a look at a Pelco camera that we have already added to the system. Here is a look at a camera we have already set up, so that way we can get an idea of what's required. There's a few things I want to point out. If you take a look at frame rate, this is in images per minute, not per second. Notice that we have 1800 entered in the field for a total of 30 images per second. Keep this in mind when adding it manually. The next is the resolution. The resolution is not automatically detected, so we have to select custom and then select the appropriate resolution for the IP camera that's added. In the case of Pelco cameras, this information is available on the spec sheet and other third-party manufacturers please consult them for the specifications of their camera. Once we've entered all this information and we click OK, the camera is then added to the system. Now with our camera added, we're all ready to go. We just have to repeat this process for as many cameras as needed. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, at Pelco, we've got it all covered. Thank you.